both the factions are claiming uh, that they are the original party, the, the symbol should go to them, they should be, the, be called the original NCP. So according to what you are explaining, sir, it should then, should it then be going to the Ajit Pawar faction given the fact that they have more number of elected representatives, is that what you are saying? So, well, you know, till the election commission comes to a conclusion, which faction is the party, uh, the symbol is frozen, the name of the party is frozen hmm. and they are both given, suppose there is an election uh, around the corner, in uh, which case uh, the, the party has to be given a name, hmm. party has to be given a symbol, so both the factions are given a temporary name, temporary names for both of them with temporary symbols till the decision is finally taken and once the final decision is taken in favor of any uh, uh, of the two groups, that becomes the party and the symbol is returned to them, the name is returned to them. Okay, so till such time the symbol can be frozen, alright. But uh, uh, sir, here is a situation wherein, you know, the numbers, when we are talking about the two-third majority, uh, the, it's 36 out of 53, that is uh, the number of MLAs that the NCP has in the Maharashtra legislature, neither of the side has uh, 36 at this moment. Is it any significant in a situation like this, this two-third majority, is that going to be the decider or you think it's non-significant at this moment? No, for uh, the case before the election commission, it is not relevant. Uh, they will go by the majority, which could be a simple majority. Now, but 36 uh, or uh, two-third majority in the context of a merger of a party. So, um, according to the anti-defection law and as amended in, I think, 2003 or 4, um, the position is that uh, um, uh, uh, the original party uh, with two-thirds majority can merge with another party. A breakaway faction cannot. Breakaway faction is actually a defector. Uh, but that defection is not decided by the election commission. That goes to the speaker. And you will uh, remember that even the original Shinde case the, um, while the uh, election commission decided in favor of Shinde, but whether uh, those original 16 members were defected, that is yet to be decided by the speaker and Supreme Court had uh, asked the speaker to give an order in a time bound thing and uh, they uh, fixed the time frame. I think it is the 8th of next month and um, a speaker has to decide about the defection. But meanwhile, election commission on the basis of the simple majority which was proved by Shinde faction, they uh, declared it the party. 